this course, I explained how one of our design goals is learning via repetition. This is important because in this course, we're showing you techniques that you'll be using all the time while making your own apps. So it's important to get some practice along the way so it really sinks in. That leads me to your current challenge, showing the user's score. Your challenge is to pause the video and modify Bullseye to show the user's score in the appropriate label at the bottom of the screen. This will be a great review of a lot of techniques you've learned up to this point. That's it, go ahead and pause the video and give it a shot. And if you get stuck, keep watching for the solution. Okay, here's what I came up with. Inside viewcontroller.swift, I'm first going to add a new IB outlet, and it's going to be a variable named score label. I'm going to set the type to UI label, and I have to put the exclamation mark at the end to match the other examples here. Okay, now I need to open main.storyboard and connect the score label to that outlet. And again, one way of doing this is to control drag from the view controller to the label and select the new outlet that we added, score label. And we can verify that it's connected by opening up the connections inspector and we see all of the outlets on the view controller. This works because I have the view controller selected and I see the score label outlet is connected to the score label. All right, now there's one last thing I have to do. I already have this update labels method is already called whenever you start a new round. So that's a good place to set the text of the score label. So we'll just say score label dot text equals, we got to convert the score, which is integer to a string. So we just wrap it in string like this. And that's it. Now I can build and run. Move as close as I can to 63. How about that? Oh, I got it exactly right. So I got 100 points. My score now says 100. Now I'm going to try 66. Pretty close, 98 points, and my score is 198. 